What up, YouTube? It's your boy. <clears throat> Sorry, it's very cliche. I don't know why I keep saying that. But I was just going to make a quick video today to help you out. Uh, a little quick tip I got here for the... Uh, if you're driving a truck with an Eaton automated transmission in it. Um, you get that red service code down around your shifter. And uh, I'm going to try to get the... Try to get the phone here. It typically will give you... Yeah, there we go. Right here, it's got a red service light that'll come on beside your shifter. On your dash, it'll say engine, uh, excuse me, transmission fault. Um, this typically happens when you first start your truck up and go to put it in gear. I also get it a lot whenever I'm uh, pull up somewhere, shift into neutral, try to shift it into reverse to back into a spot. The reason I'm making this video right now is actually I just uh, showed a guy this. He was getting ready to back into a spot here at the Loves in Jasper, Tennessee. and Got this transmission fault and he was kind of stuck out there. And I was like, well, I'm pretty sure I know what's happening. So I got out and talked to him about it. Sure enough, he was getting the fault code on his transmission. <clears throat> so what you want to do if you get this fault is, you know, the quick thing to do is, you know, apply the brake again. Try to shift it back to neutral. Uh, then go back to gear. That's the, if that doesn't do it, um, you can turn your key off, wait about 10 to 15 seconds, let the transmission try to get itself back into neutral. Because the problem you're having is, is the transmission is not able to free itself and get back into the neutral position. So what I like to do is get it into the neutral position. Uh, turn your key off for maybe 30 seconds, turn it back on, see if that clears it, if it can get itself out of gear. If it's really stuck, uh, once or twice I've had to, if you're on some kind of hill or any kind of incline at all, just the slightest movement will help. Um, put it in neutral, release your brakes, see if your truck will move any. Uh, there's been two or three times now that I've had that work. Um, uh, I used to have a Kenworth, a T600, um, a 2007 that had an Eaton, and it would do that a lot. Like, it was really sensitive to uh, when you pulled up, if you didn't come to a good complete stop and hold that brake when you went to neutral, it would hang in gear. So I would have to, uh, you know, turn the truck off, turn the key back on, press the brakes in, see if it would move any. I mean... Like if, it would, if the truck would move a half inch, a lot of times it would kick it out of gear. But yeah, if you're having this problem, if you're stuck somewhere hunting a YouTube video to uh, help you out with this fault code, try that. Um, you know, turn your key off, put your truck in gear, and then go back to neutral with the key still on. You know, turn the truck off, just the key on the in the on position. Go to the gear position and then back to neutral. See if that helps it any. And if it doesn't, turn the key off. And then turn the key back on. Release both trailer brakes if you're hooked to a trailer and the truck brakes. See if the truck will move any. Lots of times doing this just for, you know, 10 seconds and seeing if it'll move any or it'll, it'll get that transmission out of gear. All right, guys. Uh, this video's already went a little longer than I thought it would. Uh, but yeah, I hope that helps somebody out there. Uh, you guys be safe. Comment, like, share, all those good things. Totes likes.